fugitives. Undoubtedly one of the most dominant teams in the history of Population One. The only team that has played in all eight seasons of Ark's Diamond Division and always staying near the top of the standings. And while they started off strong, they seem to have gotten better every season. Recently, they've been unstoppable. Just punishing them. I get to wrap here. Fugitives! Congratulations! Our first ever Pop One Pro League winners! Fugitives formed back in the old PPC Diamond Division when Michael VR teamed up with a new and up and coming talent, Danderson. I came into the comp state a little late. Most of the good players were already on a team, and I was kind of unknown, so it was hard to find a good player, a good team. And then Michael is just not playing as much. We played well together, so me and him kind of stuck together for a long time. We made a name for ourselves. The search to find a third member was on. They didn't want to just have a team in Dime Division. The goal was to win championships. The duo joined Most Wanted, a clan that had plenty of top players to try out. But since their goal was to be the best, the choice was obvious. I think we always realize that Scanter is one of the best players and most wanted, and it doesn't make as much sense to have like the most talent on separated from two different teams. I, I think what, well. what started the whole thing was Danderson subbed for us in. I'm not sure if it was uh, like a season game or a scrim, but we just. I think it was a scrim. Yeah, I don't know. Something clicked, and then after that, that's when we duoed in the tournament, and did well in that, and then made the jump. The most wanted fugitives were born. And from the start, they were one of the top teams in the league. And Danderson gets it. In season one of ARC, fugitives were in a position to win the finals. But in the last game, there was one team standing in their way. Cobra Cartel. Monkey Bunch taken out. Danderson goes down. And we have a winner. This began one of the biggest rivalries in the early comp scene. Cobra Cartel was on a several month winning streak. Fugitives were their biggest competition. Up until this point, the rivalry with Cobra was pretty one-sided and both teams knew it. Why do I even play finals, bro? We always are ahead and then they just come back. It's depressing. Dude, that's so annoying. Fuck, man. I was climbing the windmill. I don't know where she's going. Oh, look at Danderson, three or seven. But in the final week of season three, Cobra found themselves trailing by 11 points to the Fugitives going into the last game. Cobra needed fugitives out early, and fugitives just needed to survive longer than Cobra. Oh, and they're about to go at it. Oh, Jesus. We need to kill them start. before another team comes. Let's move to Frontier, guys. Cobra Cartel attacked immediately. Are you gonna kill him? Where's Dan? Somebody on Dan, he's in hang. Dude, why, don't, why are you pushing him? Okay, we can't let Dan run. They're dead. People in the station oh, are wait. screwed. Fuck, Cobra's still hunting me. God damn. They're close to me, Tech. I need help. We gotta move off now. Okay. Another team, Cryptic Flow, broke up the push by Cobra. Here, somebody push up with me right here. Oh, I'm just adding. I have a sniper angle on it. He's on the health still. Uh, uh, no, I'm not peeking though. Not peeking. Got him, got him. Nice. Oh, it's Tech. Yes. Dan, you gotta, you gotta hide, bro. We need placement. That's what I'm trying to do. We need to wait. Need wait food. in zone. They're 11, they're 11 points in front of us, so. If we just they, secure a, a good placement... They need placement, to die now, oh my god. That's a gem. Team behind us, team behind us. I think they know we're here. Danderson completed one of the best rotations ever and got his team rezzed. Thank you. Thank you. Holy fuck, just tr be really quiet, guys. Yep. This is straight survival mode. Literally, if I could team sees us, we're all dead. This is so intense. Yep, yep. Ooh, Khan taking down tag. Then, something Cobra Cartel was not used to saying. We lost. Yeah, there you go. Unlucky. How are they alive right now? Oh my God, Danderson with the God rotation. That was the very, man. That rotation was huge. Yeah. I thought they were dead. So that that secures it. Regular season winners. Fugitives carried the momentum into season four. Now with good bet taking the spot of Michael VR. They had the lead going into the last week of the season, but this time 
Cobra Cartel took advantage of an opportunity that fugitives got taken out early. And Here, fugitives is in a fight! They're in a major fight! Yeah. No, no, because then we're gonna move back. We need to we put on scanner! Oh. That's it! That's it! And then fugitives is to out! Listen to the, the way I said it Fugitives is out God. first! Cobra and fugitives fighting right now. Fugitives with just not a great game. Cobra first and ten. I mean, it complete the tables have turned. Both Danderson and Goodbet would leave the game following the loss, leaving Scanter to have to find two new teammates to keep the fugitives going. Meanwhile, a new team emerged as the new top squad in the league, Supreme Royals, led by one of the best players in the game, Austin. Austin has bounced around several teams looking for the right fit before landing with Supreme Royals, and it looked like he finally found it. However, their Season 5 championship, which I covered in another video, would be their last time playing together in ARC. Basically, after Season 5, uh, Ethan, he kind of like actually had to get a job and do life. So he kind of quit the game after Season 5. And that's when uh, Season 6, I think, was me, Tech, and Skit. You just crashed. Push. Royals came back even stronger and would go on to win Season 6 by the largest margin of victory ever. Let's go. Getting 300 points more than the second place team, now called Supreme Fugitives. Scanter was joined by Sleepy Joe Biden and Red, and Supreme held the top three spots in the Diamond Division. However, after season six, leadership in Supreme would make some questionable decisions. That, yeah, that was when uh, Sleepy left to join Wall, and Red yeah. ended up going with him. We picked up Dead Inside around the same time. Skit and Sleepy wanted to be on a team. Like, they talked about being on a team for a while. So, Sleepy was on Fugitives at the time, so he wanted to come over the Royals. And uh, they wanted Sleepy over me. So I'm pretty sure it was Seabrad's idea having us pick up Austin, because there was some, I don't know all the details, but something going on within that team, then stuff going on within my team, and then Seabrad's like, hey, what if we just pick up Austin? Scanter's friend Seabrad had been close to the team for a while as an advisor and supporter. Right here having played with Austin before, he saw this as the perfect opportunity. While that was going down, I remember sitting there like thinking if someone really put some thought into the move they were making, it wouldn't have gone through. But I remember thinking like if they trade Sleepy for Austin, then like Fugitives is like going to be the next it team. They're just going to dominate. He was right. And Austin single-handedly takes out Junior. He's going back for more. Oh, but Scanter cannot be stopped. Scanter, Austin, and Dead Inside knew right away this team was special. The chemistry was definitely there because um, me and me and Dead kind of clicked right away. When he came back, he was playing a ton when he first came back. And then Austin was just always cracked to the game, so he didn't fit in. It's been a seriously great experience, man. For a long period, I was on Supreme. But I took a year break, I came back. Sleepy was on Fugis at the time. He was like, do you want to come play with me and play with Fugis? And I was like, hell yeah, dude. So I came back to Fugitives where I, you know, met Scanner, Seabrad, Austin, and it's been a blast since then. Seabrad taking down Avon. They were joined by Seabrad and the newly recruited club. I don't think he has a ton of heels because they didn't. Yeah, that's it. Who helped Fugitives get back the number one spot in the regular season. They entered the season seven finals as the clear favorites. But as history has shown us before, in the finals, anything can happen. Last one's oh! Up. Void! Takes out Creamy. It's three on one. Oh, Noah! Takes him out. VIP! Taking their claim for first place going into game five. Let's see what the point VIP entered the finals as the number sixth ranked team, but outplayed everyone else, taking the season seven title in one of the biggest upsets in Diamond Division history. Oh, right! Today takes out Creamy! Down goes Terminator! Junior's taking third place. VIP hanging on. Out of nowhere. First season in Diamond Division. Champions. Supreme Fugitives looked to bounce back this past season. But due to several controversies involving Supreme, they decided it was time to distance themselves from the clan and the reputation that came with it. There was a lot of internal things going on. People having differing opinions on stuff that was going on and us as fugitives we were just there to play the game like we were just showing up when we were told to by this guy because he was running the whole supreme show too at that point 
So we just wanted to play the game, and there was a whole lot of beef with, like, league leaders and Supreme and stuff that we didn't want to be a part of, so we decided it was just better for us to split off. Supreme was, like, basically known as, like, the troll of the community, and Peaches and Royals have both been in with Supreme. But there's been a lot of trolling, and we were trying to move away from that, and they were just kind of toxic to us, so we just kind of looked up. They would also need to find some reliable subs, since Dead Inside wouldn't be available often this season. They picked up Waffles, whose in-game name is Kim Kardashian, and took a gamble on another ex-Supreme member, Rise. The regular season was pretty much over by week three, as Fugitives had nearly doubled the second place team in points. Oh, Orso taking out Rise, but Austin, there with him. Fugitives won their fourth regular season victory, but still had never won a Diamond Division Finals championship. They felt this was their time, and they had plenty of confidence heading into the finals. Then he goes and he's on the attack. Synergy right here. Oh, that will do it. Suki comes in, takes out Scanner with the DT. Fugitive, the first team eliminated in game one. VIP again jumped out to an early lead, and after four games, looked like they would repeat as champions. Right, today takes out Creamy, and VIP X extends their lead. But Fugitives weren't giving up easily. Scanner and Rise come drops down and take down Arsh. Our oh, winner is taken out by Rise. Scanner taking out Creamy. Oh, down goes Flo. Austin takes him out. Last game. It all comes down to this. Rise taking out Spray. The fight was on. They really needed to focus on Fugitives. They needed Fugitives to give that third place. But instead, Fugitives taken out. VIPX, it's them and Juniors. And it's just them. There you go, folks. The champions, they won the P1PL, and now they won Diamond Division Season 8. Fugitives have now done it all. Having won everything there is to win, they continue to fight for their legacy. I mean, we've been here a while. We're trying to turn over a new leaf and be more you know, I mean, we're respected as far as scope goes, but I'm not sure respected as far as being positive in the community. So that's kind of the step we're trying to take now. With season nine about to start, they set out to join Cobra Cartel as the only other three-time champion. Rise is no longer with the team, but they still have a roster full of top-level talent. And a pickup in this offseason could make this team one of the best ever. I once dubbed Cobra Cartel as the first dynasty of Pop 1. If Cobra is the dynasty, Fugitives is the franchise. And they have no plans of giving up their throne anytime soon. Whoever the fuck put that build there, your mom's up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>